Today, I am going to be showing you guys my brand new 7 foot 3 post scoring stretch big on NBA 2K23. This build is going to have everything that you need as a big man in NBA 2K23. It finishes well at the rim, shoots like a sharpshooter, has insane passing ability, and is a lockdown defender, especially in the paint. But with all of that out of the way, let's get started. So obviously for this build, you're going to go at the center position, body settings, height, seven foot three, weight, 230 pounds, with an eight foot one wingspan, and the body shape I ended up going with built. So real quick, while I am showing you guys the finishing attributes, let me let you guys know that I'm showing two versions of this build today. This first version is the version that I made that is way more defensive heavy. And as you can see right here, we're getting the bare minimum on the finishing category just an 82 close shot 80 driving dunk 80 standing dunk and an 80 post control but i promise you that is more than enough as you can see right here now having an 80 driving dunk is actually going to be really nice on this build because you're going to get the straight arm tomahawk dunk packages as well as quick drops off one when recording this video i did not have the 80 standing dunk yet so i couldn't show you any big man contact dunks but trust me i have them on other builds and they are insane so now moving on to the shooting we're going to get you a 73 mid-range as well as a 76 three-pointer that 73 mid-range is going to get you midi magician on gold and that 76 three-pointer will get you claymore on gold as well as gold space creator all right so let's let's take a look at the shooting capabilities of this build obviously the catch and shoot corner threes that's a staple for the stretch big is no problem on this build but now we're gonna get busy right here in a post hit him with the shimmy fade we're gonna pivot this left foot over and then fade again with two seconds left it's a little contested but it goes in and right here this is what i love doing right here very quick drive into the post fade immediately they sit back so much, especially since we're a glass cleaning finisher and you can just take shots like that, no problem. But right here, coming up on the fast break, he's gonna give it to me and I already know what I wanna go to here. We're gonna hit him with the quick post hop shot. All those guys are just too little to guard me on this seven foot three post stretch. But again, this build is a great knockdown shooter in the corner as you see right here, wide open catch, shoot, it's green, it's money every single time. But here's something special right here. You guys know, I was gonna figure out how to do this somehow. We are hitting consistently step back threes on a seven foot three max wingspan stretch and i love it i love every second of it it's absolutely insane so yeah even though you only have a 76 three-pointer you could absolutely be a knockdown shooter and create your own shots even at the three-point line and i know after watching those shooting highlights you guys are gonna want to know what's the jump shot here it is right here base paulo bancaro release one Giannis antetokounmpo release two marvin bagley full speed with a 79 to 21 blend and since you guys are here i will give you the post scoring animations as well my post fade is pro 2 and my post hop shot is kobe but now honestly one of the most important things the hop jumper that i use on every single one of my builds that are 610 or taller is the kevin durant hop jumper now moving on to the playmaking this is going to be very quick we're going to get you a 76 pass accuracy which is enough for break starter on gold as well as the lebron james pass style now listen to me even if you don't end up making this build let me just make it very clear if you do make a big man build i highly recommend you go no lower than a 76 pass accuracy the amount of cross court steamers that you can throw with this build on the fast break is absolutely insane i mean look at this dot right here whoo all the way across the court no problem it's just so important to have again i recommend no lower than a 76 but now here is the most important part on this build the defense we're gonna get you an 80 interior defense which will be enough for post move lockdown on silver 60 perimeter a 99 block to get you that hall of fame anchor as well as a 94 defensive rebound to get you gold rebound chaser as well as hall of fame box out beast now like i said the defense is one of the best parts of this build you're going to be an excellent rim protector on this build with that 90 99 block and you're going to have no trouble when it comes to stopping post scores as well even though you only have this silver post move lockdown bad as you're gonna see right here he tries to go for the drop step we don't get moved anywhere we're still right in position to get a hands up contest and we're chucking that ball down court and we get an easy bucket again right here what's he doing he's trying to do a drop step he does it the wrong way because he's an idiot but we get the board but again look at this drop step boom he's patched he's gone he's done listen if your entire play style gets clamped by a single badge listen you gotta figure something out because that's not gonna work now here's the other crazy thing we're getting all these really good highlights but understand all of these clips are from season three right you can see in every single clip so far we're all wearing the new uniforms that have been a season three exclusive and not only that but season three has only been out for like uh, two days since i started recording this video and one of them i didn't even get to play because i was at work all day so like this is literally just just from one session for maybe like three four hours of me just playing 2k and getting clips like 
The build is actually really insane on defense, even though, allow me to clarify, paint defense in this game does suck, but Hall of Fame Anchor is still a very good badge. It's hard to differentiate the two, but Hall of Fame Anchor is definitely better than the other tiers, it's just paint defense in this game is still pretty inconsistent. But now here is the build fully maxed out with the badge count, you're getting 20 finishing, 15 shooting, 12 playmaking, and 25 defensive badges. I highly recommend that when it comes to your extra badges that you're going to get, try to put one on shooting so you can get 60 badges so you can actually use silver catch and shoot and then I highly recommend that you put the rest of those remaining badges into your defense when it comes to your takeover options you get sharp shooting rim protecting glass cleaning and post scoring takeovers and since I wanted to be as toxic as possible I went double post shot daggers on this build but now this build is complete and you're going to walk out of the my player builder and get the comparisons of Yusuf Nurkic Brooke Lopez and Arvidas Sabonis and you're going to get the build name glass cleaning finisher now really quickly let me show you that second version that has a little bit of defense and more finishing all right so really quickly all of the body settings are the same 73 230 max wingspan but the finishing is going to be a little bit different so right here you're going to see we get an 85 close shot which is going to get you fast twitch on gold as well as masher on gold we're still getting that 80 driving dunk but now we're getting an 85 standing dunk which is going to get us all of the standing dunk animations except for the elite big man standing contact dunks but i'm pretty sure if you want to you can finesse that and maybe get it to a 90 which is what you need for that threshold and then lastly instead of an 80 post control we're going to get you to an 87, which is going to get you all the major post move badges on Hall of Fame. So as you see right here, we get Dream Shake, Postman Technician, Drop Stepper, Back Down Punisher, all on Hall of Fame. The shooting on both versions of this build are exactly the same, but the differences are going to be the defense and the finishing. But the only realistic difference in the defense is you're only getting a 93 block, which means you only get gold anchor. Takeover options are all going to be the exact same, and I recommend that you probably just go double post shot daggers if you want to be a toxic piece of shit just like me. Coming out of the My Player Builder, you're going to get the exact same player comparisons, Nurkic, Lopez, Sabonis, and you're still going to get the build name Glass Cleaning Finisher. So that is how you make both versions of the build. Now, since you guys are still here, I got a couple more clips for you. Let's roll the tape. All right, so you know what? I'm going to use these clips at the end to kind of just catch up with you guys. We haven't done one of these in a while. So listen, there's a couple things I got to clear up real quick. Not too long ago on this channel, we have finally hit 8,000 subscribers, which I'm super excited about and not only that but i'm gonna push myself a little bit i have a little bit of a challenge we're gonna try and hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of this month january 1st i better have 10k okay now obviously that's that's not your guys's problem that's my problem i'm gonna figure it out we're gonna gain magically 2,000 subs somehow this month i've seen crazier things happen i saw a friend of mine gain like 10k subs in a single month so i think getting 2k in a month wouldn't be crazy so a little bit of a life update i wasn't really able to upload too much over the past like week or so and that's for obvious reasons i actually work retail and last week it was week of thanksgiving so uh i was stuck at work quite a while and when i got home all i wanted to do was sleep or lay down and just not do a damn thing because i was just so tired from work but hey since the holidays are pretty much done because christmas isn't really too busy for my store i'm gonna be uploading a lot especially since i want to hit that 10k sub goal i have a little bit more free time on my hands because um i am now officially single so uh, yeah that's the other life update but yeah no that's it Bye. Love you.